Hey guys, it's Drew the Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be taking you guys to the Grapevine Coin Show, showing you all the cool things that we picked up, and talk to you a little bit about the show. Let's get this video started. So this weekend, we ended up going to the Grapevine Coin Show. We showed up a night early to take a look at some cool things in a collection. And then the next day, we were off to the races to find some cool stuff for you guys on AcousticCollectibles.com. So we started off walking into the show. And when I walked in and turned right, we had a dealer that just put out about 35 or 40 Rattlers. And so I ended up going over there. And he said, hey, if it could be just a few dollars over bid, then that would be great. And uh, it was actually a few dollars over the CAC bid for that grade. And so I sat there for about half an hour just pricing everything out, working with him. He was very pleased. I was very pleased, and that was a good start to the show. Then we started to walk around a little bit more. Uh, the first coin I actually did buy was the night before, which was the 1879S Morgan Dollar in the new cat grading slab. Definitely a nice coin, and you're actually able to take great photos of the coin just because it lets so much light in with that plastic that they put in there. We ended up buying a few other cool things. I want to show you something later in this video, but Casey bought one of our biggest purchases of the show. It's a little bit of a tougher coin, and I know you guys are going to love it. But the show overall was pretty good. We got to talk with all the dealers before the public got in, got to buy a lot of great coins, and surprisingly, a lot of them don't last. So what I would recommend for you guys, if you're interested in ever Picking up some coins from us is check on our website daily just because things are posted and things go so quickly. But let's get to these coins. Let's show you what we found. And let's also show you something that we got as a gift. So during the show, we actually were walking around and Blake from Royal Coins approached us and said, hey, I have a gift for you. I have friends that make some really interesting ammo cans and they also created mugs for them recently and so they wanted to give us a gift and something that we wanted to show you guys very quickly in this video so this ammo can is laser engraved we the people on one side and then when you turn it around it ends up saying akusha collectibles on the other just a super neat thing that you can have in your office or you can have for storage especially when you are the dudes from akusha collectibles so you end up opening the ammo can and there's two mugs inside one for me, one for Casey, and I'm going to leave all the information for this company down below in case you guys ever want to pick anything up from them. They do an outstanding job, and I'm so thankful for this gift from them. I hope you guys check them out. But without further ado, let's show you guys all these new purchases. We hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, the first coin I want to show you in today's video is this 1955 Proof Franklin Half. It's great Proof 66 Cameo by PCGS. It is CEC approved. Nice black and white surfaces on this coin. As you can see, the white is definitely present on the devices, and the fields is definitely has that dark black eye appeal to it. It also is CAC approved, which is nice. So Franklin's end up selling well for us, and we wanted to pick it up. I think it would be great in someone's collection. The next coin I want to show you guys is this 1883O Morgan Dollar. Kind of hard to pick up with this little bit of scruffiness on the holder, but... It's got some nice rim toning filling in a little bit to the left of the face there, as you can see. And uh, people love these soapbox holders, especially when you can get them for a good price. And yeah, found this one just from a local wholesaler at the show. The next coin I want to show you guys is this Mint State 66 Walker. So this is a few coins that we ended up buying were from a guy that just bought a Walker set. And this one was great at Mint State 66. The fields are just super clean on this coin. It has a little haze, but nothing too crazy. I could see a lot of these going 66 plus, maybe a little bit better today, but just passing them along as they are. Next one I want to show you guys is one from a subscriber. This is an 1835 Cap Bust Dime. So there's a few kind of scruffy marks on the holder. We try to take care of our holders around here and not let them look like this, but this is definitely a nice original lo looking 1835 cap plus dime. And I think I've sold this one before and we're just now getting it back, which is super cool. The next coin I want to show you guys are two CAC G graded coins. So we might have shown these off earlier in the video, but just look how nice these gem uh, Morgans are. Not going to spend too much time on them, but just superb coins. Going to try to get these in more often. 
when we do find them. But right now it's all between the, you know, the major dealers that are allowed to send these in. So we're just following along with the punches there. This is a 1908D Barber Half, great AU55. It is an old green holder. It's got a little peripheral toning to the coin on both sides. I don't think it would cack, but it does have some nice remaining luster that most AUs should have. Really nice, sharp detail on it. The next group of coins we want to show you are some just rattlers that we ran into. So showing you a little bit more of the deal. A lot of these we had to mark and tell people that they had PVC or other issues. Some look a little bit better and had no, no problems, but it's good to let people know about these because sometimes they do have a lot of just gross smudging or PVC from the flips back in the day. And these coins were okay. But, you know, we run into those a lot for sure. Next one is a Min State 66 38D Buffalo. Really nice, strong strike. These kind of come nice just because they're the most common date of the series, but it's definitely a good starter Buffalo. The next one I want to show you guys are a few PQ looking dollars. Got this also from a subscriber, 78S Morgan Dollar. 78S, this is the 79S. Just really nice S-mint luster on these coins. And the 81, I'm sorry, the 80S. I'm just tripping over my words a little bit, but just really nice coins. I know that there's not a crazy a lot of profit value when you're kind of buying these to resell them, but offering them for people that just like nice looking coins is always fun. Here's a cool coin that we're going to show you guys. This is a 1940 Mercury Dime. It's graded proof 50, I'm sorry, proof 68 by NGC. It's got a little bit of uh, rim tone to the coin, a little bit hazy for sure, but not a ton of these great mints, uh, proof 68 that are out there, which is cool. And I wanted to try one of those out. Next up is this 1922 piece dollar. It's graded mint state 65 by PCGS. Bought this just because of the holder. Nice luster and not too many issues with the coin. Here's a neat little toner that we bought. Hard to capture in this light. It's got a nice green and red to it. It is an 81 S Mint State 65 Plus. Definitely deserving of the grade. And it has a little bit of character for it to you know, kind of stand out from the rest. The next one we want to show you guys is a commemorative half. So this is a 1934 commemorative half, graded Mint State 66. It's a Texas. Buying this in our home state is pretty good just because if we're at a show or someone wants to meet up locally, they can buy something that represents where they live. And this is a neat little coin, has a strong strike to it. Most of the time they're so weak, they go Mint State 63 or 64, but that one was a 66 in my opinion. So we have this Ethiopian Gersh, I believe that's what they call it. It's graded Mint State 65. We bought this one just because of the luster of the coin. I mean, the luster on the coin is very nice. Super flashy. Don't buy a ton of world coins when we buy them. We just mark them for like 10% over what we purchased them for and see if they sell. Sometimes we just don't know the market, but we like the way the coin looks and have it as a unique offering as well. So we have this 1874 three cent nickel, great at AU53. Didn't see a whole lot of comps and it seems like this coin's not being offered in many places. And so when we were offered this coin, we wanted to give it a shot and felt like it was priced right. Got a few little buffaloes here, kind of scruffiness on the holders. 64, 65, and 66. A little bit of a breakage here on the holder, but it's still nice and airtight. It's going to get a little chaotic in the background here just because of all the, all the slabs that are coming. But Casey might fix that. So we have the 1946 Booker T. Washington. Kind of distracting toning on this coin, but that's okay. People like the Rattlers. Here is a little bit of a better date, Morgan. This is an 81 CC, graded Mint State 63. We bought this one because it was blast white. The luster is phenomenal, and we got it for a decent price. I do love the look of that coin. Got a few other Rattlers to show you guys. So we have this 42 Walker. 46S Walker, all super hazy, which is unfortunate. And we have this 42D Walker in Min State 64. 
And then we have this 47D Walker in Mint State 64. So a nice little general mix for these Rattlers. We're going to be definitely showing you guys some more here soon. So this is the big Kahuna that we ended up buying this weekend. This is a 1913 Indian. It's going to be Mint State 63 Plus. It is CAC approved. It's got a lot of kind of distracting hits here on the on the obverse of the coin. A lot of these are just so beat up, and that's just the way it goes. And uh, getting anything 64, 65, or 66 is nearly impossible unless you're buying it out of a collection or an auction house. We got a bunch of Mercs from this weekend as well. 45D, 37P, another 45D there. 44 and 45s so definitely a nice little stack don't want to bore you guys with too much of them you know jumping into the nitty-gritty of every single one same thing with the morgans we got a lot of rattlers here the 1904 1902 which is cool it has a little bit of reverse toning to the coin definitely was a coin that was on top of it at one time and the toning took care of the rest there this 88-0. Here's definitely my favorite Morgan just because of how nice it is. Mint State 63 CAC. Surprised this one didn't gold. But the strike is a little weak, so I completely understand that from them. They want a really nice looking coin for them to gold sticker it. 96 Philly, great Mint State 63. 82S, really clean cheek on this 82S. Lovely luster also. And we have this 82 Philly. Definitely a Rattler weekend. Trying to find more because people love them and they sell very quickly. Then we have this 1954 Washington Carver. We have Mint State 64. The luster is really nice. We ended up passing on a few Rattlers just because they didn't really match with the eye appeal that we would want. And thinking about it now, maybe we should have purchased them just so people had something to look at and possibly pick up. It's a 1927 piece dollar. We bought it because it was blast white and gently circulated. When you're buying Mint State 63 or 64, you're spending, you know, 350 to 500 bucks. But with an AU, it's around 100 bucks, which is nice. Here's a few other walkers to show you guys. This 45 Philly and 66. Once again, try to pick coins with the nicest fields and least amount of issues. And this one definitely took the cake for a really nice coin. And we have this 47D and 64 plus. Just a nice flash coin. Common date, but trying to meet collectors where they are. If we can get a better date, but we will, but sometimes they're just tougher to run into, and it's good to buy coins that are really nice and really affordable. This 1918 Cat Bus quarter we ended up getting from a subscriber as well. Grade G6 by PCGS. Just nice gentle wear on the coin. And it is a little bit of a better date. Then we have this 44S Mercury Dime. It's great at Mint State 66. Just nice gemmy luster. One coin roll on the obverse held it back. I just checked this coin. It's like right here. Really hard to pick up, but it's underneath the L. You're going to need a really mark-free surface for a 67 or higher. And so that one just was graded right. So this is a 1923 piece dollar, great at Mint State 64. Gentle peach, you know, kind of toning to the coin. Luster's all there. Just coins that you can make five or ten bucks on once in a while and wanted to get something that was cool like that. And then we have this last coin here, which is this 1884 Philly Morgan Dollar Grade Mint State 65. Bought this coin because it was white, and I don't see this date often in gem. And so when I looked at the comps, I thought it was really fair for what we bought it for and what we have it priced for. So thank you guys for taking a look at these new purchases. We wanted to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the coins that we showed off today. Which one was your favorite? Also, make sure to subscribe. We're coming out with videos every single week and we want you guys to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next video.